Hello trainers, Kaneto here and today we're diving together into Master Premier or shall I say Ultra League because we're having a lot of action with some uh, battles submitted by Yaveltal who is back on this channel to hunt us with that amazing spice that he's gonna bring. Return here from the Ultra League leveled up Gerados to another on the Master. Look at that, we take so much damage but the return is gonna be able to provide some real nice and quality content. So this trainer is using full spice also has a channel here on youtube so be sure to check him out so right now we're gonna go in with a wall rain once again on the ultra league level swamber 2 and we're got uh, that uh, icicle spear to finish off the gear that was pretty impressive at this point they have at the back the metagross and we do not own that earthquake so we have to spam those uh, hydro cannons still you can see that we are a decent uh, threat to that metagross and let's see if we can actually win this one because this is getting pretty tense they still got the shield we need more than this hydro cannon but we can farm down actually so at the back there is gonna be the excadrill and the match is not over yet they can definitely survive one hydro cannon because we are talking about the ultra league level of uh, swambert here look at that but the wombo combo with the acicle spear totally forgot about it and we're gonna get the first victory with an ultra league team on that open uh, Master League meta, okay, not open, but still the Master Premier. So we're having a lot of action on that uh, switch with our Gerdos up against them, and now our uh, return is gonna do a lot of work against that Pokemon. Ursa Luna goes in, and we still have the Aqua Tail for some really nice damage super effective as well to the Ursaluna however not enough we are on the ultra league level and our Swambert now can go in now we're using a shadow Swambert what is happening anyways fire punch from the Ursaluna are you kidding me and now we just need to take the second one as well another fire punch but we're still getting super low not gonna risk it here here comes now the big boom with the hydro cannon we're gonna take out this Ursaluna let's see now what they have at the back because Tyranitar is going in Super effective damage from a shadow to another. Are you kidding me? Wolverine right now going in with those icicle spears, and we're gonna have this victory in our uh, pocket because, yeah, we absolutely walled them down with that Tyranitar at the back. Pretty impressive as well. Uh, Mamo Swang now up against our Sardo Swambert. I think we, we have here the upper hand, so we're gonna connect for big damage. Our Hydro Cannon at the back, there's gonna be the Wall Rain, and we uh, there's gonna be the Gerados, and we're gonna bring the Wall Rain into the battle. Icicle Spear for cheap damage. Once again, we are gonna take a lot of. Uh, pressure from this Gerados, especially defensively because we lack the offensive status that Master League is having. This time we're gonna go with another Icicle Spear, gonna spam those moves already on the red for the Gerados and we resist those waterfalls by a lot. Hopefully no Drunken Breath on that Gary. They are gonna reach now to the next move which we are gonna take and we can survive another impressive move by Warren but unfortunately we cannot finish right on time. At this point we are gonna go in with our Gerados those and we are gonna just farm down oh i just noticed we do not have waterfall right that's dragon tail right yeah it seems like it so excuse me about that on the moveset it is gonna be a dragon tail dragon tail version of uh, gerados which is a bummer but still we're gonna be able to destroy them down look at that and that is a good game into the next one now with the extra drill up on the lead you love to see trainers and we're having the toki geese on the street uh, so Wallrun here is gonna do a lot of damage to that Pokemon and I think that we might actually win this one with this switching battle uh, because those charms might do a lot of damage but still our Acicle Spears are gonna connect for super effective no boost hopefully for the Charmer because on the Ultra League team we do not appreciate those boosts can we farm down? Yes we can getting out of here with an Acicle Spear ready to go, gonna fire it off immediately to the Excadrill are they gonna block? Oh my goodness they just block it so now we just need to finish off right on time before they reach to their move with a hydro cannon big damage and able to catch hopefully the drill run on the gary are you kidding me at the back there is gonna be the cartoon and those dragon tails are putting up a lot of work let's block now the outrage are you kidding me we are looking at the return but we cannot finish them off right on time they left the battle that was a bummer 
summer and it could have been so much fun. Anyways, into the next one, Ultra League is really doing a lot of work against that Master Premier format and to be honest, that's pretty impressive. So we're having now the Metagross up against us, all we have to do is to block whatever they throw because we're Shadow and Ultra League, while uh, they can withstand the Hydro Cannon damage, so yeah, we're gonna see the switch out to the Dragonite and yeah, trainers, we have walled them down. Also, I have switched the movesets on your left so that you can have a clear understanding of what we have here here showcasing on this video and yeah Veltal is doing a lot of uh, pressure on the enemy with their Gyarados and we're just gonna keep going now with those Dragon Tails so if you haven't noticed this Gyarados is triple legacy and one of those moves is unobtainable with a return being available only to the purified version uh, which is pretty neat I haven't seen any other Gyarados around like this so that has to be a first right uh, into uh, that uh, Tyranitar now and we're gonna be able to pressure a lot with those Hydro Cannons and the third one for the victory against that Tyranitar and that is gonna be a solid victory into the next one now against Hyde and we're gonna have the Matcham up on the lead you hate to see it we do not like our odds here but still we have to stay in those moves are gonna be uh, pretty neutral but still gonna apply a lot of pressure to our Shadow Pokemon uh, let's get now to that Hydro Cannon we're gonna expect the shield though because uh, they are kind of weird as well and we're gonna try and catch one move on our Gyarados that was pretty neat at this point they're just gonna keep going with their moves and you know what since you stay Let's get now to the Aqua Tail to pressure even more that Matcham and we can have now the Shield Advantage. No, leave it aside. We just spend it so we're both down on uh, zero shields and now we can reach on the next Aqua Tail much before they can reach to the Rock Slide. But they can survive only because we're looking at an Ultra League level uh, power up uh, uh, Gyarados, which makes a lot of sense. But still, now our Swambert can go in and start farming down some solid energy because they didn't switch out. Perhaps they they have something like a Dragonite at the back and Metagross. The Earthquake on the Metagross, down they go. There is gonna be the Snorlax and Trainers. I think we have just won this battle. Uh, even though that superpower can be pretty scary, I believe that even if they reach it, still we can survive and spam those moves to victory. So let's get now to another Acicle Spear. Snorlax is already at 50% and at this point we are gonna even lose that CMP race. So Earthquake, not even superpower. Are you kidding me, trainer? What are you doing? Double Body Slam could have been just enough to finish us off and we have now the Hydro Cannon ready to go to finish them off and that is an amazing victory once again. Let's head now into the next one, let's see what the next trainer has for us. Ursa Luna up against our Swambert and yeah that is pretty scary with the tackles look at how much damage they are doing shredding apart our HP and they can definitely handle those Hydro Cannons because yeah we are Ultra League and they are an Ursa Luna which is an absolute beast for the Master Premier uh, so they have at the back the Tokik is coming in trying to catch a move I guess but this is not gonna happen we have the best anti-flyer here with the wall rain able to pressure a lot with back to back Icicle Spears However, we're gonna see the block here because SN Power can definitely take us out and we can go for the total farm down, right? Yes, we can. Down goes the Tokigis and we have a lot of energy to spare. Even against Ursa Luna, this is gonna prove to be the best choice that we can do because those moves are super effective and Ursa Luna might be able to shield at some point. Here comes the shield and now we have those Hydro Cannons to connect for big damage on the Ursa Luna. However, we cannot outspeed here, which is a bummer and Thunder Punch is gonna take us out actually, being not very effective. Able to get in there, I believe, with our Gyarados to farm down and it's all up to the last Pokemon, which is the Swambert. Are we gonna see their return for big damage trainers? I think it's finally time. Please don't leave this battle. Here comes the return. Here comes the boom. We'll Will this be enough and boom are you mad what 
<laughs> we tried to catch a move. Uh, I totally lost my words there, uh, but it did not uh, work at all. Anyways, we're still gonna take this victory. They got served, and that was a pretty crazy battle. For a moment, I was like, okay, we lost. Then I see that we tried to catch. I thought that we can win. Then I see that we did not catch at all. I thought, okay, we lost. And then we take the serve and we survive. So I was like, okay, we can win. And that was a battle that you just saw. Uh, they immediately left this one. Uh, are you kidding me? We got an Ultra League team. You always can have a chance, even though we can wall you down. Are you serious? What did that opponent do? Uh, okay, the video is absolutely raking apart itself. And you can see that we're having a lot of fun here. Uh, so Swambert, yeah, into the next one. We already skipped one battle for no reason at all. They left the battle. And we're having this block on the high horsepower, not even the Thunder Punch on our wall range. Able to use the steel down the next one as well because we're we're having a feeling that we can definitely farm down here and we can get away with a lot of energy. Able to get to the earthquake on the meta cross. Can we get to double earthquake? Are they gonna expect it respecting the damage here? No, they're not. They are actually gonna go down and the Sylveon as uh, as fast as they can see our Pokemon, they are just gonna uh, top left the battle and that was awesome as well. I think this is gonna be the last one trainers with the Dragonite upon the lead unless that is gonna be a very quick uh, forfeit. Uh, so we're having the Icicle Spear up against the Dragon type and we can just keep pressuring here with that Wall Rain. Uh, so ice types are not gonna be uh, that much around on the master premier so that's why dragonite is the best generalist uh, right now for the master premier but still you're gonna see that certain pokemon like uh, avalak can threat you down or even mamushan but nobody's expecting a wall rain able to farm down here with our uh, dragon tails at the back they have for the third time a tyranitar let's get to the big nook boom down goes the whole eight out of Tyranitar and we can pressure now even more with the Hydro Cannon. I think the time has come trainers. Are we gonna see the nuke from that return? But I think it will not be enough. So let's see together. The Ancient Power no boost. Let's get to the big boom. One, two, three boom! Down goes the Tokigis and that is an amazing ending to a fantastic spicy video and thank you Yaveltal for the amazing submission. Thank you for watching trainers, just be sure to leave a huge like before you go, subscribe to the channel if you already haven't, and if you want to support even more, well joining as a member can always help with that matter. Thank you once again and I hope to see you all into the next one, take care trainers!